My name is Lindsay Maddock and I am the great-granddaughter of Harry Colburn, a veterinarian and soldier in the First World War who bought a bear cub that went on to inspire A.A. A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh. I think the three items in the collection that are the most meaningful to me are number one, his 1914 diary. Left Port Arthur, 7 a.m., on train all day, bought bear, $20. There must have been a, a sense of optimism, I think. I mean, he is off to war. He chooses to save this bear and to bring her along with him on this journey. And he has no idea what that journey is going to be like, but he knows that this little bear, his now pet, is going to become a source of joy for him and his other fellow soldiers. And I. I think that says a lot about his character and that he's someone I, I would have probably had a great deal of admiration for. Uh, there's a photograph of Harry and Winnie, probably one of the most well-known photographs, and there's a look on his face uh, and a care that I think speaks a lot to his character. There is a cigarette case uh, and on the front is inscribed Harry, his name, and on the back uh, is engraved the names of each of the battles that he was a part of. Um, Ypres, Somme, Passchendaele. When Harry bought Winnie a hundred years ago, he had no idea that this very simple, small, loving act would have ripple effects that he couldn't possibly imagine. He bought a bear. That bear went on to inspire a little boy and his father, who was an author, who wrote stories about her. And those stories ended up inspiring kids around the world. When we chose to name our son Cole, which is short for Colburn, we wanted him to carry that legacy with him, that reminder that you never know the impact that one small loving gesture can have in this world. That's the heart of the story to me.